Okay, so now we're going to do a sun salutation standing with some modifications. So just take your time, come with me, and you can stop and pause the, um, the video whenever you need to, to focus on a particular area and over time build up um, to come along with me. All right, we'll stand in Tadasana, standing pose, so feet together. You can have a little parting between your feet. Just make sure that the feet are parallel, heels onto the floor, toes also gripping the floor, arches lifted, shoulders back, spine nice and long, and then we're going to tuck in the tailbone. So sort of pulling in on your um, belly button, pulling in on the abdominal muscles, just engaging. Um, a little bit there so that we can stay strong, balanced and focused. Arms released down by our sides. And we take position one. Hands into Namaste. So the thumbs are together and placed alongside the sternum. It's windy outside today so you might hear the wind through my microphone from outside of the yurt. Okay. So first position. Second position then, taking the arms up overhead. Take a nice big breath in, inhaling. Second position, exhale as you bend the knees. So here's our first modification. We're gonna bend the knees and take the arms slowly, or hands slowly to the floor. Tuck the chin right in so that the crown of the head is pointing down towards the floor. So again, depending on how flexible the backs of the legs are here, you can keep them softly bent like this. You can straighten them. You can go somewhere in between. So just work with your body. Listen to your body. See what it's capable of. Let go of any tension here. So just letting the arms drape down. And allowing the spine to cascade forward. It's a great pose for um, massaging the digestive system, but also just really good if you're feeling particularly stressed or anxious. This inverted pose with the head below the heart is quite soothing. Okay, next pose then. We're gonna take the fingertips to the floor. We want to bring the right foot back so that the right knee comes onto the floor. So we lift the head. Inhale as we take that foot right back, dropping the knee to the floor. Keep the inhale going as we lift up. So again, this can be challenging for some to keep the fingertips on the floor. So if you're having a problem with that, don't worry, take the hands off the floor, place them on the knee, press into the knee and just lifting the spine up. So throughout the whole sun salutation, really we want the spine to be extending, lengthening, expanding. So making lots of space for deep, deep breathing. So either you're here now or you're here Take a nice big inhale through your nose. On the exhale, we're gonna come into plank pose. So ideally what we want is for it to tuck the toes in at the back, place the hands flat to the floor and come into plank pose like so. Pressing the heels back towards the floor, pressing the heels of the hands into the floor to round the shoulders up. And we get this nice plank pose. Now, if, again, that's not accessible and it feels tricky to go from here into plank pose, what you can do is, with your hands on the floor or off the floor, wherever they are, just take the foot back halfway with the hands off the floor. Then it'll be easier to get both hands to the floor and from there, maybe, come into plank pose. If that's still a really, really tricky, don't worry about it at all because there is another option. There's always options. So the other option is hands off the floor, take that foot back, place both hands to the floor and just come onto your knees instead. Come onto all fours. 
and to help prepare for when you will be able to do plank pose, just do a couple of straight leg, bent leg, straight leg. So it's like a half a plank. So you can just play with that as you're here to know what does it feel like to press that heel away, press with the hands to round the shoulders. Be careful not to lift the head here. So we want to look straight down at the mat so that the neck, the vertebrae in the neck are long and aligned with the rest of the spine. So you can take your half plank here or you can take your full plank. And then the next pose is we're going to come down into our eight limb pose. So normally that would look like this. But again, I recognize that does take a lot of our arm strength. So here's an option for you here. When you've come out of your plank pose, you can drop your knees to the floor, point the toes away, and then come down onto your forearms. So the elbows will be under the shoulders, fingers nice and wide. And then it's easier to slide down onto your belly. Forehead to the floor. Then draw the hands back. So the hands we want now under the shoulders so that we can lift up into cobra. Before you do that, just check in with the shoulders. Make sure they're not swallowing up your neck. Draw the shoulders back. Keep the elbows in tight to the body. We don't want the elbows to spray out to the sides. And then press with the hands. Here goes your lovely arm strength. So bear with it. Keep it going. Press with your hands. Lift the head. Lift the chest and come into that lovely back bend of cobra. Keep the elbows soft here. Okay, don't let it go. Inhale. And as you exhale, then press onto your knees. So here we'd normally be coming into um, downward facing dog. So it might be difficult for you to just spring up into downward facing dog. So to make that a little bit easier, we're coming from cobra pose. We're going to just press up onto the knees. So that does take a lot of arm strength. So this is good practice to get you ready for dog pose. Walk the hands back then. Keeping the hands spread, or the fingers rather, spread out wide. We're going to curl the toes and take dog pose in stages. Okay, so curl the toes. And then lift the knees off the floor. Draw the uh, upper body all the way back to land on your thighs. Drop the chin down so the head comes between the arms and then you're looking directly through the knees out to the back. Now you can stay here if this is enough or if you feel that you can come up into a downward facing dog you want to press the heels towards the floor. Lift the tailbone up. Suck in on the tummy muscles and hold your downward facing dog. So wherever you're at, you may like to stay here. You may like to just keep the knees soft. You may like to pedal it out just to allow one leg to straighten as the other one bends. A nice way to warm up the hamstrings. Okay, from here then, normally we'd be scooting that right or that left leg forward to bring the right knee to the floor as we did before. But with modifications, here's what we'll do. We'll take the, both knees to the floor. We'll point the toes away and we'll just walk that left foot forward. Bring the hands to the floor. So again, if this is too much, we can stay here. We're gonna take a nice big inhale. And then the exhale, we want to come back into standing forward bend. So we're gonna curl the toes at the back and then spring that right leg forward to meet the left. Come into our forward fold, knees bent again. And then we're gonna finish off by coming all the way back up. Inhaling to reach up and exhaling to take the hands back into Namaste. So that's your modified version on the right side, so you repeat that on the left. I'm rolling up here. Um, so you would uh, need to do that again on the left. So stick with the video and practice it slowly with me like that. And then you'll just find your own way to 
uh, get around the um, limitations that maybe your body has. Practice and play with each of the uh, uh, each of the postures with the ultimate goal then being able to progress. So you're all of the time you're building arm strength, leg strength until we can eventually progress to the full sun salutation. All right, so well done. Keep that going maybe twice or three times a day. Try that um, in order to progress. Okay, well done.